Hello guys, I will be working on this uh, Acer laptop which is Acer Aspire A515-55 series and the problem is it's not turning on. Okay, let's connect. The charger and look at, see, um, uh, can you see here? Yeah. Okay, so no power at all, completely dead. Now, the next thing I would like to check is let me turn on the on screen multimeter. Okay, yep, it's on now. Now, randomly, I'm gonna check the power rails. So nothing is present, no power rails, neither 8 volt, 5.5, 1.8. So now, once you have got no power rails at all present, then check the DC jack. Because all the power rails, they are, the mother of all the power rails is your 19 volt, 20 volt, 15 volt, whatever um, the laptop works on. So I would like to check the DC jack now first of all if DC jack is okay. Right, I have to remove this. So I will remove this. So this DC jack is secured light under that hinge. We will remove and yeah, we got 19 volt here, so DC jack is working. Okay, and I don't see any resistor and MOSFET on this side, so that means I have to remove the board and look at the other side of the board. Now that's the other side of the board. Let's connect charger and now we will check multimeter has stopped again so I will turn it on. Okay. As you can see we have got 19 here. We got 19 here. Alright, we have got this MOSFET here, which we have got 19, as you can see. Nothing here. Nothing here. Next MOSFET. All right, so we have got 19, but it's not flowing to the next one. Let's check under the microscope. Okay, so we have got a diode here, which is, as I was showing you before, let's see, okay. We got 19 here. And we got 19 here, nothing, nothing, let's move forward, nothing here, 
this current resistor nothing here okay so we have got problem in one of these MOSFET so just to make sure the problem is somewhere here not after in the system so I'm using a, a power supply to make sure So I'm injecting volt here and uh, to check, no, so, so it's not drawing any amps that means the system on this side has got no short, okay. So the next thing is I will be removing um, the first MOSFET. I'm quite sure the problem is somewhere in these two MOSFET because we have already applied volt here on the other side of the system and I did not see anything on the power supply. So you know what we're gonna do. We will put a magic wire here so that we will know if it sort the problem. If it turns on, then we will replace this MOSFET. So here is the magic wire, just putting it so that we can check it, huh? we will put a proper MOSFET here later. Okay. We'll just simply check here. So now 19 is going to the system as you can see, right? Now first of all we will check if you got any power rails. Okay, we got 5 volt we got 3.3 .3. okay it should turn on now let's put it in the case uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Uh, do you happen to have a HDMI to mini HDMI adapter or cable So this power button is with the keyboard, so we will put this. And where is the SSD? find it don't um, lose your screws on the board before you turn it on it can create a short now we will keep an eye on the power supply reading 
do you see? It's turning on. display why there is no display yeah i have another one but it's ps2 it's not usb for me it's turning on okay this is intact but Ooh, no display okay it has got HDMI let me get the display on the TV so I plug in the HDMI cable we will turn it on again as you can see when the fan is spinning it spins and then so that should be okay so now to show you uh, on the TV display so as you can see let's change to HDMI 3 There you go. Maybe something wrong with the LCD as well, but uh, it's all fixed now. Working fine. Thank you.